Okay, in this video we will try to look at how to update our own fork of the Frobermine project from the original uh, from the original uh, repository uh, at the Frobolab this location um, and then try to commit our own uh, changes on it. So these actions will be the ones you, you have to do on the mainly daily basis uh, to keep um, working on the top on the, of the Frobermine project. We start by uh, in, uh, going to the original uh, repository at GitHub by clicking this link. Now we need to get uh, a read-only access to the original Git repository, so we uh, copy this line uh, We'll just take the git read only. We won't have permission to upload to this repository uh, at all, so we could just use the, the read only account. So we cover this, and then in the terminal we can say git remote add. Then we need to specify a name that could be Frobermind or and then the address we have uh, found on the net. Now we are able to say uh, git uh, this remote add command you only have to run once and then git remembers where Frobermind is pointing to. Right now Frobermind is set to point to this address over here. We can also see that by see git remote show also from light. Then it tells it's uh, remote with this name and it can be accessed at this uh, location. Yeah, So that's what uh, we have of, of information about it. Now we can say git fetch. And fetch just means to import all changes from uh, the Frobermind uh, repository including the branches present there so we just do that and it didn't take a long time and now we can see what has uh, changed uh, in our own repository so we have our own old version of the repository and now we can see that there is a lot of changes uh, until the state of the remote uh, repository. But um, let's try to make some changes on our own branch and then we can move forward uh, on this branch. So we'll just close this one, then try to end uh, an interesting directory. What could that be? Decision makers source or some behavior selectors in row navigation and let's see if we can find anything in uh, this file we can clean up or, or do something interesting with well indentation seems good there might be something to improve here. Okay. Okay, this is one of the this is a, a nice change. Then we just close the editor and we'll like to commit the change. It just throws a warning. Uh, it's not important. In git GUI, the command I used for, for this or program, I just uh, select stage hunk for commit and then uh, I write a uh, 
then I just write uh, the commit message, corrected indentation, and then I just give it off. Now I can see how uh, git k looks, and uh, now we can see that the original FrobelMind repository, this one up here, is on one branch and we have made some changes on another. We would like to cha take these changes and put on top of this branch. This can be done with a, a git command known as git rebase and we want to take these changes, the corrected indentation, and put on top of FrobelMind master. And we do this using the following command git rebase frobo mind and then slash uh, master and then it uh, tries to place the changes on the right location in the tree we can try to see here and now we have a, a nice history and uh, we can continue our work up here but we can also try to push our changes that is this commit onto our own uh, public branch here on our origin remote and then we can send um, a push request to the or rather a pull, requ pull request to the maintainer of the FroboMind project we'll just close this one so git push origin or master we tell that we want to push the master branch to the origin repository which is the one resides on github and now that should be committed and hopefully we oh this is on the frobo mind of frobo lab uh, wiki uh, github page so we'll go to our own fork and here it is and we can see that there is a, c a corrected indentation, indentation commit committed two minutes ago and we would like to take this commit and uh, send off to uh, the maintain maintainer of the FroboMind project and we do that by using the pull request make a comment here um, and then we can see on which commits are uh, included here and what files are are changed. And now I just need to push this button with uh, send pull request. I'll just take a look up here. Now it's a specific commit, not just a branch I'll uh, commit. Then I have right written my header here, and then I can just send the pull request. And hopefully um, the maintainer of Robomind will accept it. Um, if not, he has the possibility of writing some comments to the pull request, and you can also comment it on it. So this is how to share back information with the Frobo Mind project.